Hello everyone, how are you? Now, in today's video, I wanted to show you a very simple tutorial on how to draw eyes. We're going to be drawing eyes in three different positions and they're going to be very cartoony as well. So, I have here our first view, adding a new layer on top and we're going to start. So the first thing we want to know is where do we draw our eyes, right? So as you can see, I already have here a guideline, let's say, and usually this line for the eyes stand in the same place where the ear starts. So where you're drawing your ear, you're going to have a horizontal line for the eyes and here is where they'll be touching. Now next guideline is where the eyes are going to be. Of course this isn't like a strict rule that you have to follow. But a good way to place them is to go, so from here the center to this side, we find the middle. It doesn't need to be super perfect. And then we draw a line going down. There we go. You can go upwards as well, if you prefer that way. And the same on the other side, so from middle to this side, we will find the center and then a line. And there we go. This is where our eyes are going to be. It's in the center right here. How big do you want them to go? Like upwards and downwards? In my opinion, if you're not doing a super realistic style, you can do whatever you want. As long as everything fits inside the head, of course. But I think that you can do just whatever you want and the kind of style that you like to do. So for example, I'm going to do something very cartoony. So I'm going to start with the eyeballs, so two circles, one here and one here. Now here's the thing about eyes and one thing that people usually have a lot of trouble with is when drawing the eyes, having them look the same. The advice I have for this is to draw both at the same time. So like what I just did here, I started with one eyeball, right, and then I immediately went and drew the other one on the other side. So if you do this, since you already did that shape first and you do it again, you repeat that shape, your hands kind of memorize that action already. So it's better to do, the, to do it right away instead of drawing a whole eye and then go for the next one. So now we're going to draw here a curved line, almost going to this line here. Now, for example, I like to do, if I'm drawing girls, I like to add one eyelash or two to them, but if I'm drawing, drawing a boy or maybe a child character, I don't add anything else. So we can keep this simple for now. And now another line just underneath it, right here. Now usually I don't draw eyelashes, but one thing I like to do is drawing this line here where the eyebrows are thicker than the, the one at the bottom. So let's repeat here the same things like we're drawing a worm. I don't know why but I think that's a good comparison, drawing a worm. <laughs> this is just a sketch, of course things aren't perfect here, you can refine everything as you go and when you draw the final lines. Now I'm just going to add in my sketch one final detail which is a little bit of a highlight. I like to add a bit of a highlight to the eyes, to my cartoony eyes, so I just go, I grab my eraser, I just go right here and I erase a little bit of the eye there. Same thing here, let me go here to my reference, so this line isn't in the way. So we have here our eyes from one of the easiest positions, right? From the front. Now let's go for the next view. And we're going to draw our eyes from the side. Now, one thing that makes it easier when drawing from the side is that you only need to draw one eye. You don't need to draw more than that. So you don't have to worry about the thing, oh, I can't draw the second eye. The first eye looks so much different than the second. And that is the reason why sometimes when we are still not very experienced at drawing, 
we prefer to draw our characters just from the side of a profile of our characters because it ends up being much easier. When drawing the eyes from the side, the shape is going to be different. So from the front, we saw that we have a circle and then eyelid on top, eyelid at the bottom, right? However, from the side, we're going to have a totally different shape. We're going to have a cone shape. So for example, you have the eyeball and then a cone shape on top of it because we are seeing things from the side. So this is the kind of shape you want to focus, a cone. Okay, so positioning the eye from the side, again, we're going to see where our ear starts and we have a horizontal line all the way to the other side of the face. And then we're going to add our eye close to the face here. It's not right in the middle. And now I'm going again to draw an eyeball. Now here when I'm drawing from the side, I don't draw the eyeballs as round because we are not seeing that sphere the same way. It is a little bit different. Something like this. Like it's rounded on one side and almost straight on the other. And then we have the cone that we talked about. So thicker eyelid at the top and thinner one at the bottom. And there we go. We have here our eye from the side, very cartoony again. Again, if I'm drawing a more feminine character, I would go here and add an eyelash or even at this side, something like this. But right now I'm going to keep things very simple. And now another thing we can do is go over here and show that fold of skin that we have on the eye. We can go over here, here and draw our highlight. So here we go, we have here our eye from the side. Again, as you can see, it's pretty big. I'm doing things here in a very cartoony style. It's not very realistic, but I think that's part of it. And even in real life, you'll notice that those rules of where the eyes are, how big the nose is, and etc, etc. Sometimes some people will break those rules. We are all very different from each other. So when drawing, I like to just draw my own interpretation of things. And now finally, we're going to draw our eyes in three quarters. Now, three quarters is that kind of view that everyone dreads. Why? Because we have the, the face or the head in a little bit of perspective and that can make things a little bit harder. It's really easy to draw two eyes that are in the same plane than two eyes where there's a little perspective to it. But we can do this. You'll see that you can do this. Again, we're going to use the same thing as in the front view. So we have that place where the ear starts and we have that straight line. In this case, even when you're drawing uh, in three quarters, you have a little bit of a curve there, right? It, and it depends how much is the head turn, but we do have a curve here. And then we're going to use that same technique as before. So we're going to look for the center here from here to here and we find that center. It's more or less here. Again, I don't like to be very precise with this. As long as it looks more or less that, is, that it is in the center, it's okay. And then from here to here, we're going to find our center, which is more or less here. All right, so now we know where our eyeballs are going to be. All we need to do is draw them. So one on this side and the other on this side trying to make them look the same but again this is just a sketch we don't need to worry too much and now we're going to draw our eyelids right so when we're drawing from three quarters one thing you'll notice is that the eyeball here depending where the character is looking but usually this line from the eyelid, this one here is going to be very close to the eyeball. We even have usually here the line of the nose entering here. 
and then the rest of the eyelid goes a bit separated as you can see there's a little bit of white space there from the eye now that we have this all we need to do is add our bottom eyelid right here same thing here here the line goes this way and this way but here it doesn't go very far away from the eyeball adding our highlights here so as you're doing the sketch i think it's really important to always sketch things out is that you might notice that the eyes are not in the same position so you can always just change things for example i think this one is a bit going a bit too upwards compared to the other one so i'm going to lower it a little bit and this is mostly it so as you can see if you break things down into very simple shapes into very simple steps you can do it i'm going to very quickly do the final lines for this so okay here we have our eyes these were very quickly done i hope this video has been helpful for you and that from now on you start drawing amazing eyes that you are happy with and if you like this video remember to like and subscribe and as always keep on drawing